gonna need to get through here. Hey everyone, uh, what am I listening to right now? I'm actually checking out the, uh, the 2019 uh, presentation from last year. While we wait for 2020 to start. Yo Theo, yo Cry Wolf. Mm. Don't mind me, I'm enjoying um, some ginger ale. <laughs> because uh, that is the only other drink we have in this house other than water. What's going on West? Uh, so I've been looking at a little bit of the, uh, of the chat on, uh, on EA's Twitter, or Twitter, YouTube, uh, and I've seen a lot of people excited for guessing about Mass Effect, Titanfall 3 maybe, there's probably gonna be, uh, you know, let's see what else we're getting at, Mass Effect, uh, Apex, maybe some Apex details, Dragon Age, that'd be nice to have. Skate 4, that'd be funny, especially since we had Skate XL. Excuse me, get uh, some highlights or get some attention uh, yesterday. Well, not yesterday, I saw it yesterday, but over the weekend. Uh, Mass Effect, uh, Burnout, a lot of people are guessing. I'm, I, I, I don't think we're gonna get some Titanfall. I don't know why, but I feel like it's, we're not gonna get that. <clears throat> we'll have this playing in the background when we wait. But, uh, here, here's an idea. Let's get to something that actually looks like we're looking we at as an announcement. For me. What's going on in the story? Like, obviously, Cal, yeah, I, I Is Greg Miller going to return? As a Jedi. You know, just Is Greg time. Miller coming back? A to B sting, how's it go? What's the ending? <laughs> well, the, the actually, no, Come on, EA. Come on. It's panel, four o'clock right now. Is Watto in this game? <laughs> Oh, come on, EA. But that's not a no. FIFA. <laughs> Hashtag Watto 2019. Probably some FIFA details. Thank you very much. But what's going on in the story outside of Watto should be in it? Um, well, you know, stories are... Oh, look at that. The moment I took it, took it away. All right, let's let's make that a little larger now. <clears throat> It's been an entire year since I've had myself a proper EA viewage. There we go, the freshman, what's going on? We're just counting down the seconds at this point. All right, so, so to go back around what we have so far, we have people guessing that there will be an announcement of Titanfall 3. I don't think that's going to be it. I absolutely know for sure they're not going to have any Star Wars thing, because it's it's still riding off the, car, co the coattails of the last one. Uh, and it's not that old. It takes some time to develop a game. Uh, Dragon Age. I'm hoping on that. That'd be nice. 
Carl Tum, uh, 2020, or 22, sorry that. How's it going? Um, what else people... Mass Effect? Man, that'd be nice if they had Mass Effect. Uh, Skate 4, I don't think they're gonna do Skate 4. That's probably not gonna be anything. Battlefront 2 updates. <laughs> Is that is that going strong? Is that community? Is that game still going? I thought it was dead. FIFA, yeah, FIFA, NFL. We're probably gonna see a bunch of. Uh, oh man, we're gonna see a bunch of stupid. Maybe that's just that's just me. I'm not one for for sport games. What's EA Play? You're about to find out. Madden uh, 2021 is already on Steam. Then what's going to happen is they're going to show some highlights. They're going to have some developers on saying it's going to be the new realistic looking Madden. Guarantee it. Let me know how the audio is, guys. If you want me to turn up the uh, actual stream itself, I will do so. Hello and welcome everyone to EA Play 2020. We're happy that Make you it louder? You got today. it. Over the next 45 minutes or so, we've got so much for you, including creative, innovative, and really fun new games, and a lot of news to share. But before we get into the show, I'd like to take just a minute here. I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to first responders, medical staff, and essential personnel. This has certainly been a challenging year. Do some uh, from natural disasters like some the shout outs in my to own country, those to helping out with the Corona pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These brave heroes are working to keep us Fresh safe. Freshman audio sounds good. Nice. Every time. Thank you, guys. I also want to thank our Sweet team surfboard. for their amazing dedication <laughs> while working from home. Why is what there a surfboard in the background? Is nothing short of inspirational. We are also deeply thankful to all of you, our players. Even when we've had to stay physically apart, billions of you are using games to come together to play and do amazing things for each other. You've shown why this is truly the greatest form of entertainment on the planet. Mm -hmm. This is also a critical time for the movement to end racism and racial injustice in this world. Black lives matter, and there is much to be done to drive real and meaningful change. So I knew that... Um, a couple of weeks ago, we shared some actions what that Electronic Arts is taking. We will not what did I watch yesterday? It's uh, a long-term commitment. Future game show. Players of every color, Future game show also did a uh, uh, Black Lives Matter uh, shout out. We will continue to build. So I know that the entire gaming community is behind that. And we have so it would have been crazy if they didn't actually do that here. Fun, inclusive, and positive places to play. Good to see it. We also have real work to do to bring greater diversity into our company, and we are committed to doing that work. Today we're here because of the power of games. I Games feel like I'm being talked to by they a very can stern parent. Better. They can teach us. They can provide escape I'm and not self-expression. Angry and with most you. Of all, games I'm just can be fun. very disappointed. All of us electronic arts believe in that, <laughs> and it's why we're excited to get up every morning to make great experiences for all of you. So thanks for being here with us. And now let's get into some games. Did he? No, he had to blink. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I'm gonna check the replay What's on this. Up, everybody? Greg's I'm back. Greg Miller, and welcome to EA Play. We had an incredible show in LA planned for you. Huge stage, massive setup, these giant monitors. I was gonna fly in on an X-wing. I was gonna land the X-wing on stage. I was gonna set off a bunch of fireworks. Then what? T-shirt cannon. Bam! Shooting out game consoles. Then Carol Baskin, some tigers. That last part was all me. Then, because of circumstances beyond our control, we had to come up with something a little different. Mm -hmm. Instead of LA, I'm in my hometown of San Francisco, but we still have the Tigers. What's that, Jane? No Tigers. So you lied. Oh, okay. All right. I'm being told there are no Tigers, but whatever. We're still. Are they on the kind of funny uh, play you know and love. scene? Huge surprises, big announcements, incredible reveals, and never before seen gameplay. Okay, there Coming we go. Up, That's what I want. Hour, we've got game reveals galore, world premiere trailers of new titles, some old favorites making a comeback, a look at a new way <laughs> Star Wars fans can live out their greatest fantasies this year, what? plus a sneak peek at the future. What? Oh. And pay close attention because today you could win one of thousands hey, of Steam Hey, you guys can win. More than a dozen great EA games on Steam. You could win some Throughout EA games. Show, keep an eye you know, maybe some NFL, Madden, letters. NBA. 
write them down as they appear and at the end of the show we'll tell you where you can battlefront three code oh for that would be three games on steam that'd be amazing so don't go anywhere who am I kidding? None it would also be right. really amazing if they uh, learned from their talking. lesson from the beginning. Let's see some games. The early launch of uh, we're headed to the Outlands. That's right. They don't make two, NBA. They make 2K. Time. You're right. Anyone want to take me out? What is it? Oh. Okay. You should smile more. Hey, Apex a bunch fans, of the chat the just keeps getting confirmed bigger, that they were going to do, or at least guessing that they were going to do some successful. Apex announcements. Most epic season yet. Obviously, it's going to happen. Started. Season four saw more of you jumping into the fight than ever before, <laughs> and you've kept that amazing momentum going forward, making season. Five I haven't the touched a and best battle royale game ever. in, I want to say about four years now. Hold on to your holograms. <laughs> No, wait. We hope you've been Battle enjoying Royale's season five. No, they have favor, been out for a very long time. Which has seen the introduction of our latest legend, Loba. A major map change to Kings Canyon. Rest in peace, Skull Town. An all new ranked series and a ton of quality of life updates. But it's about to get even better. What do you Today, guys want to hear? To tell you about what's what are you guys excited to hear from me? With our latest collection event, Lost Treasures. Take a look. I might bury you here. No one will. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I kind of like that character. Adventurous. Star Wars? I'm down for some Star Wars announcements. I just don't think they're going to do it. They risk everything in such a fame. Oh, how did he not see him? Fortune and answers. If you find what they're looking for. <laughs> but if they survive, they might walk away with lost treasures. Is there a story mode, like a behind the scenes story with Apex? Cause like, there's one with Overwatch where there's not necessarily a story mode. Uh, these characters are, have personality, I know that for sure. Oh my God, stop it. The latest update has story development. Okay, so they're, they're going towards it, yeah. I know what I'm looking for. They're trying to catch up to Overwatch. It's not a story mode, but each character has stories. Okay. I definitely like that skull guy. As you just saw, the Lost Treasures collection event brings with it a ton of great content, including a new limited time mode, Armed and Dangerous Evolved. It's the return of a fan favorite, snipers and shotties only, but with a twist. Send it out my decoy. All armor is evil armor, and we're removing all of the respawn beacons across the entire map. Oh, you have only one chance. Don't worry, no respawn. Though, you'll still be able to bring back your teammates with the help of a new item, the mobile respawn beacon. You'll have one of these in your inventory at the start of each match, giving hmm. you the power to choose when, and more importantly, where you bring your teammates back into the battle. So technically, you could be the last one alive in your team, hide somewhere, a new town and then Crypto's once uh, once you're ready to bring Which everyone back, you can. Look at what motivates this drone-wielding hacker. And of course, the Lost Treasures collection delivers a bunch of exclusive content you can earn by completing challenges, as well as all new event exclusive cosmetic items and the introduction of your boy Mirage's heirloom, which is fittingly a trophy of himself. Excited to see you all in the ring. Don't worry, there's plenty of me's to go around. And the best part is you don't have to wait that long. Man, Lost I, I guess I'm behind. Tuesday, I don't know June any of these 30th. characters. And that's not all Apex fans. The battle is expanding. That's right. This fall, we're bringing Apex Legends to Steam. Oh. And I know you're hoping, oh. wondering, praying. So before you ask, Look at that. yeah, crossplay is coming to Apex this fall. It's been one of the biggest requests. If you were we get, avoiding we're Apex because of that, you have no more excuses. What am I forgetting? Check that Maybe out. One last thing. Let's make it official. Oh. <laughs> we're huge fans of Nintendo here at Respawn. And we are incredibly Damn, excited to be uh, Apex, Apex is uh, to the coming out fall. swinging in the beginning. And we'll share more details in the months ahead. Yeah. So that means you'll be able to squad up no matter where you and your friends prefer to play. Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, or on the PC via Origin and Steam. 
we're throwing out a lifeline and healing the divide between the platforms. On behalf of the entire Apex team, <laughs> we want to thank our incredible community. Your passion for the Jump game on is a, truly Jump on a PC we platform to and all the hone in all and the forget, Switch players. Check out Lost Treasures on June 23rd. Oh man, that was amazing. <laughs> I think I'm hyper, hyperbole. I think I'm hyperman. I've had a really good time here. Oh. <laughs> Soul Soul, everyone. One thing I admire oh, about Sims. Apex Legends is its commitment to having such a diverse range of characters. At The Sims, we've always believed representation and diversity in games is critically important, perhaps now more than ever. It's difficult to put into words just how meaningful it can be to see yourself reflected in the games you play. So, here to tell you in their own words are a few members of our Sims community. One day, one day, Alexander, it's one day. It's a very interesting thing to explain. It feels empowering, actually, and very moving. It, it really taught me a lot, the importance of just, like, keeping relationships good with people. It's probably, like, the only place where I was uh, open. They get to see my personality first before This is really sad if this is about my Sims. Disability, I guess you could say. I found myself to be the only black child in my school. I was discriminated, I was bullied. Is this about my Sims? My skin tone, my height, and my teeth. first realized that I was trans and uh, I had, I, I was like praying to God to undo it. I have this world where I can express myself and be myself. Where I come from, who I am, the color of my skin, you know, who I'm attracted to, let God any of that lemon. get in the way. It was, it was no barriers. <laughs> no matter where I was or what I was going uh, through, I had my safe place. This is plausible. This is a future you can have. It was almost like I was peeking into the future and I didn't know it at the time, but it gave me hope. It gave me a sense of hope that I could build a life that looked like that. The Sims is almost like a utopia of oh, what so they I were talking about the Sims eventually becomes. As I got more comfortable with my character in the game, I got more comfortable with myself. I play to build me. I play to express myself. I play to make a difference. I play to feel good about myself. I play to have confidence, to have, fun, to have me to time, fuel my creativity. It's more than just a game. It's creating your life. It's really brave for them to do that. Props to that. Uh, this is me talking from the marketing standpoint, though. As you though. just saw, the there only... are so many reasons why I am I proud Sims to be part of the Sims Global Community. Uh, and I didn't really represent myself well hope. in The Sims. I generally just tried, started creating random characters to see for our world. A place what to sick and deprived way I can kill them. <laughs> because thank you for I'm a bad player. Done, to make your community's virtual and real a better place. Props to Sim though. Now Props I know Sims, some of you tuned developers. in hoping for some Sims news, and we'll have plenty to share as the summer goes on. But we do nice have one announcement for what? you. What? Don't we'll act like you didn't do it either. A whole new platform as Theo, the Sims 4 arrives I know you did too. Today. Take a look. First, you build a room with a fireplace with a bunch of wooden chairs, and then you remove the door and you just wait. How big can the Sims be now? They've got like 90,000 different expansions. Pets, vacation, work. Uh, it was like there was like a Bahamas one I think. There was like dead, like like undead vampires, ghosts, what space, uh, time travel. I think they even had that. Alien, I've never killed a sim in my entire life. It's because I'm a horrible player. <laughs> oh, they're just showing off what you can do in Sims. Not that there's a new announcement. I'm in the mindset that whatever they show me is going to be new. Alex here from the social team, and joining me today from our community team is Freeman. Hey folks, yes, we're here to tell you that it's not just The Sims 4 arriving on Steam today. Five more great EA games, including Titanfall 2, mm. A Way Out, and Dead Space 3, 
Uh, all playable right this second. How is and when EA Access arrives on EA Steam Access. this fall, you can get all those great or, titles uh, and a ton more with your membership. You can also expect I'm curious to now. see our new releases on Steam too. One of the first arrived just I'm curious a short how while popular ago. It's doing because they're moving a lot of games Steam over to Steam now. The critics love it, and we know you will too. This is Command and Conquer Remastered. Oh, Command and Conquer. I'm kind of down for this. Please tell me it also comes comes with the cheesy uh, Welcome back, Commander. Uh, full motion video cutscenes. And Steam isn't the only platform getting some love. We'll be bringing games to more platforms than ever. You can expect seven new games coming to Switch in the next 12 months, including Switch is getting Burnout a Paradise bunch of love. Tomorrow and Apex Legends later this year. And we're bringing crossplay to many of your favorite games too, starting with Need for Speed Heat and continuing with some new titles being revealed later in the show. Like it so it's far. all about giving you the freedom to play what you want, where you want, and with, and with who yeah. you want. It's about playing together. Absolutely. Now, let's reveal some more games. Over to you, Greg. Quick reminder to keep an eye out for those special golden letters hidden throughout the show. They could appear anywhere, and I mean anywhere, so keep your eyes open. Write the letters down as they appear, and once you've got the full code, you'll be able to enter for a chance to win one of more than a dozen great games on Steam. So stay tuned and find out where to enter the code at the end of the show. Now, the code is EA Plays. All, you know I guarantee it. I love Honest Cup was Buffalo E, wings that's and A, it's gotta be Plays. Games. That's my I guess. I don't have any Buffalo Wings, but I do have something just as tasty. Over the past couple Lift, of years, hey man, I just reached 51 followers. Congrats, man, congrats. And now I have an average of 3.0 views. Here any tips. Oh, now I have to have an average of 3.0 views. Next wave of EA Originals. Um, come for the schedule. Stream on those days and those time frames. Best way to do it. Sometimes you just have this great idea of a game, but it can be really oh, hard collab. to do it on your own. We wanted uh, space for our studio's creativity to flow free. So that we could try unconventional approaches to solving new ideas. There are times where you've got to like break past your own sort of mental blocks. Even if that meant building a whole new kind of game engine. We get to do the game we want to do. Nothing, and I mean nothing, comes into the game if it doesn't follow the vision. We can really push our ideas further and bigger than we first imagined. Let's find that magic. All right, all right. So they're kind of giving a quick segment to uh, to the developers. And now for a deeper dive into what these developers Nord are working 33, on, thank you so much for hosting us on, on Mixer. Studios. Yeah, and but if I didn't announce it before, we are streaming on Mixer, uh, Twitch, YouTube, leader, and Periscope. So almost, if you want to say hello, say hi. Let's do it. What's this? What am I looking at? Please welcome Joseph Ferris. What you got, Joe? There are like passionate people, there are crazy people, and there is me. Okay, can you swear here? Can, can you, you swear? swear? Okay. The Oscars, you know? <laughs> the Oscars! You! No apologies there. This guy's uh, yeah, insane. I'm not cocky. I can't help it, man. I was born in Beirut, 1977. I lived there 10 years. It was civil war, and there was a lot of uh, bad stuff happening there. We tried to move five times to Sweden. The fifth time they let us in. Uh, and that's lucky for Sweden, because I've given Sweden a lot, you know. <laughs> my third movie, is Zozo, it's basically about my life when I came to Sweden when I was young. I've done he five did a movies, self... and now I've done three games. He did and a it's movie about himself? It's almost like the audience have control of the pacing of the story, while the movies is being paced for you. 
I love this. I and like this guy. So the fact that he's like from a storytelling perspective because of he does the not care. There are some he's like, out there yeah. that are making it. I'm gonna do a movie about myself. But they pretty much have one mechanic they That's gonna happen. reuse all the time. The designers and the story writers are, are kind of like doing two different games. That's he is ballsy. He life. definitely he is. He's pushing the boundaries of what is possible in games. That's what game number three from his life is all about. Action. The new game, It Takes Two, is a co-op action-adventure platformer that will blow your f***ing mind away. <laughs> the story starts out with a small family. Cody, May, that's the parents, and then Rose, the little daughter. So Cody and May are about to separate. Rose doesn't want them to divorce. So she creates two dolls out of wood and clay, and these dolls magically come alive and actually controls both Cody and May. He, and he likes to, their ever since it was um, brothers. Their emotions. He likes the idea of cooperative even play, levels uh, where roaming around in one space. I kind of, I kind of enjoy it too. The story and the mechanics, and I think he's found a niche, players, uh, and he does it very well. And unique, they haven't played anything like this before. It takes two is a crazy roller coaster ride that doesn't really have an ending. It has an ending, but that ending is that the roller coaster crashes and you fly into the sky and get up into space. And when you're in space, you're like, what the f am I doing up here? And then maybe you get back to, to Earth again. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. It takes two, actually. All right, I'm kind of down for this. Something new? Wasn't expecting it. Wow, that was, that was the best way to describe it. All right, Joseph, we love you so much. Thank you. Keep it up over there. F the Oscars. Uh, of course, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep this original <laughs> train rolling and let's stay in Sweden. He strikes me as the guy who does not care. He'll cuss. Red gummy fish and their video games. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Klaus and Olaf from Zoink Games. Thanks, Greg. Welcome to Gothenburg and, well, my home. Unfortunately, I didn't bring you any Swedish fish, but we do have some exciting news for you. Nice room, by the way. Game. I kind of like all the photos. Sewing, we've always been driven by love of rich visual storytelling and creating strange I'm liking the art. Escape to. The weirder, the better. And I think yeah. my friend Olaf would agree. Yeah, absolutely. And for our next game, that's though, hitting we all of my marks. Something a little darker. I'm something looking for a little darker. A fairy tale. My cat started with screaming. the mood and some paintings, grew into this hey. eerie, strange world that feels like something out of a beautiful, twisted dream. And that's the world of random. Lost My boyfriend lives in Gothenburg. Story of even a little girl with a big uh, heart. If it's as and green as the temper. the outside of this guy's uh, place, event, the changes her life. I am jealous. She embarks on a dangerous journey through the world of random, but fortunately, she's not allowed, bro. Just like I have Olaf. Even also has a crazy little weird friend thing with her. Along her journey, even discovers Dicey, a playful, loyal, almost puppy-like dice companion that gives her the power to really change things in the kingdom of random. Despite the name, in Even's world, randomness is feared, and a dark force controls every aspect of life, from where you live to how you act or what your favorite color is. It's a coming-of-age story set against the backdrop of a mysterious world, but it holds a modern message that's really relevant to our world right now. I think we can all relate to the desire to try and control the chaos around us. With Dicey's help, though, even I kind of want to see some gameplay. I'm already, opposite. I'm already in the randomness, for the art style. Uncertainties in life, and you'll be surprised how far it takes you. Imagine if you could change the course of life with a roll of a dice. What would you do? Play it safe or trust in yourself. Oh, Take a chance. we're going to talk about dice now, are we? can't we? wait for you to play and find out. I wonder what There's I would do large, with a roll of a die. Join Even and Dicey on their journey next year. Until then, please enjoy this first look at <clears throat> Lost in Random. Welcome to Random. That hairstyle is very striking. Uh, I would never try to pull it off. <clears throat> what looks like to be a mohawk going down into a ponytail. A dice that has ruled this kingdom. I'm kind of down for this. For generations, transforming the fates of people just like you. But what if I told you there is another dice with the power to change everything? Now, my friend, it's your turn to roll, to play the odds, and break the curse of random. Well, well. 
It's like you're playing inside of a uh, Nightmare for Christmas. No, Dicey. They should be scared of us. Right? I'm getting um lost in random. All right, all right. Really cool. That's a look at lost Claim in random. No, it kind of reminds me a lot of um, I feel like I live that every day America like, McGee's ah. Alice. You know, I was gonna do I'm that. having that. that Dicey's my spirit animal. I'm having a little bit of that flashback. I think what's gonna be it's gonna be an action platformer where you get take it away, Kevin Franklin. And you just go through an entire story, which I'm fine with, to be honest. Uh, especially with that games, unique our art team style. Of experienced industry veterans have worked on incredible multiplayer franchises. We are passionately focused on making great multiplayer games. That's why I am incredibly excited to announce that we have partnered with the talented team at EA to release our first ever title, Rocket Arena. Hey. As you'll see, we stay loyal to the name of the game. It's a rockets only shooter that allows players to get into the action quickly and stay in the fight. We want Rocket Arena to be an awesome, competitive experience to play with friends. I think you're going to love what we've got in store for you. Blink. Here is the all new Blink, trailer damn it. of Rocket Arena. Enjoy. Blink. Oh. Another robot. Rockets away. Let's kick this into gear. The trophy will soon be mine. Have you ever wondered why life is so good on Crater? Sure, we've got the beautiful beaches. Cannonball! Quality public transportation. And Seeing the mountain bike behind the dude. Yeah, there was, he was like in a garage, wasn't he? The people are courteous and friendly. EA's Overwatch. And, uh, Maybe, it seemed like they found a little, they found... But the real reason I don't want to say niche. It, it almost like they found one concept, which was only rockets for the weapons, we and we're rockets. like, "All right, we'll make a Overwatch over it." Let's hit the trail. Mm, seems kind of like a throwaway game. Yeah, I'm kind of with you, uh, Steven. It's... What you want, man? I'm here to rock it. <laughs> My cat is begging for attention right now. I'm having a blast. <laughs> oh, yeah, and expect a lot of explosive and blast and rocket puns throughout this entire game. So as you just saw, rockets are obviously awesome to blast all over the place. Uh huh. But in order to come out on top, there's a lot to master. You'll have a range of rocket-powered abilities to blast opponents out of the arena, and an arsenal of evasive moves. <laughs> now that I've seen rocket more, jump, I'm rocket out. Rocket <laughs> climb and dodge to avoid getting knocked out yourself. Don't worry though, you're never out of the action for long. Even when you're out, you'll fly right back into the fray. You'll also be able to really customize you know your what own this unique seems look like? and play style. Each of the ten heroes available at launch this have their own like rocket powered abilities. The multiplayer as you play, you'll uh, discover mode items that allow in a you to different game. Each of your heroes play you know what I mean? Plus, every character has like if they were playing, like if they had like some sort of cartoonish story mode. All that and much more. This here, this Arena rocket little moment, on July 14th. would be the multiplayer mode in and that there's game. There's plenty more content to come in our first season. Which begins just two weeks oh, after I love lunch it. on oh, July 28th. How cute. And brings with it a blast. They think there's gonna be more seasons. Content, including new maps, in-game events, and a new playable character. Rocket Arena is a game meant to be played with friends, regardless of platform. That's why we're thrilled to announce cross-play support yeah. right from the start. You're gonna need it. I'm sorry. I don't mean so to be this friends, like regardless of their sassy or, or and get ready to blast off with Rocket I don't Arena. Know. On July 14th, on PlayStation, like a downer, Xbox, but I just Origin, don't see. 
I, and we'll I've seen too many games go this way where it's just show, like they have the one concept, content creators. So check one us little out way on of playing, YouTube and then it the just dies below. too quickly because it doesn't have uh, See you in the arena. variety. He blinked. Wow, that looks I great. missed it. And hopefully you've all been keeping track of the golden letters hidden throughout the show and nearly cracked the code. Here's a hint. It's not Kanye. Keep an eye out for the last couple of letters, and then at the end of the show, we'll reveal where you need to go to enter the There's code. There's the Y. A chance to it's win some great EA games Play. Now, from the future of Rocket, I've given you the code. We head to a different kind of battle. It's the real reason I didn't get any sleep last night. And if you thought you heard sleigh bells, that's because it might as well be Christmas in June. It's finally time to talk Star Wars Squadrons. Now, okay, I promise you, we are going to get a first look at some brand new gameplay in just a moment. But first. For anyone who doesn't fully grasp why I'm so excited, earlier this week, EA and Lucasfilm dropped a trailer that literally gave me all the feels, chills, joy, excitement, and then more chills on top of that. Take a look. I must have not seen this. I have no clue what he's talking about. Yes, EA Play, and I haven't seen one golden leather letter. I'm the perfect shot. Oh man! History. I haven't seen this. I've been in the dark for I think about two Five weeks points. now, and there's a reason for that because I wanted to experience this all first. The galaxy's finest. Hmm. Wow. The eight-year-old and all of us is celebrating and excited. The 37-year-old man on this couch is excited. Ladies and gentlemen, for the second year in a row, I have the honor and privilege of helping introduce a new Star Wars title. And here, to put the hype in hyperdrive is none other than Motive's creative director, Ian Frazier. Hello, Ian. Hey, Greg, how you doing? I'm great, how are you? Doing good, happy to actually get to show this to people. I bet. So I have now, a question. Uh, in my copious notes I, I have on you, I'm EA told you are EA had exclusive Star rights to make Star Wars time. games. How long have you liked Star for a few Wars? Years. I've been a Star um, Wars fan for pretty much my whole life. I don't even remember the first ended? time I saw Did the Disney movies. renew and that? There was a lot of different parts of Star Wars I, I was, loved. I was assuming that they were going to stop making Star Wars games. Or TIE Fighter. Like so, you after know, maybe one or two other titles. In the 90s, um, and I got pretty obsessive after, about them. Uh, after uh, Battlefront 2. The insides of the cockpits and so I know they made the first actually, one. I dug up some of those drawings um, from my parents' yeah, first part, attic over first the first person uh, First player game, which right actually I can't remember what it's called now. This but they made that. This above and beyond the normal level of Star Wars fandom. Uh, I think at Motive you'll find that quite a uh, few if you want people to look into have it, yes, that please. level of Star Wars fandom. I'm uh, quite I'm curious sure if EA is going to be continuing to uh, be the only developer, the only developer uh, as kids. publisher to One make even built a uh, Star Wars cockpit games. in his garage. Wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's fandom on another level. How do you guys go from being a fan, Disney no longer owns the game studio and has licensed the EA for Star Wars. Yeah, I, well, I, I knew they did that, fandom, but I thought they had like maybe a, um, has provided a really good foundation for us. Like an exclusivity of contract. That, of course, the team at Motive got a lot of experience working with Star ended. Wars when maybe they worked didn't. on Battlefront 2. Um, and when Battlefront 2 wrapped up, because I'm curious really what other developers can do with really the uh, Star Wars the name instead of just, in Star Wars. just EA. And we wanted to make something new, something that really went all in on that part of the fantasy. And so we, we did kind of a grassroots initiative, or started a little passion project. They're exclusive with Disney. Okay, so still going. Eventually, what is the game we're going to show you today? You talk about, you know, your passion for this, your nostalgia for Star Wars flight games of the past. How do you honor that but make something brand new? It's been interesting. You know, we, we're trying to kind of pull from that spiritual heritage of many different games in that time period. Um, at the same time, we want to do. Something I must have missed it. What are we thinking, guys? Today. Are we thinking this so is another uh, PlayStation sort of exclusive? Maybe uh, this will be a. The best of the Star Wars flight games of the past. Maybe this will be a crossplay as well. They made that part of the universe real. 
a level of depth. They renewed it for a few uh, for ships, the, the renewed it further them. for a few other. It's something that I remember fondly from my childhood. Uh, for a few it's years, something that we're Got trying it. to do very much with squadrons. Uh, you know, damn, in real man, life, I, being I really a pilot kind of is, wish it is kind hard. Of it takes skill, went away and that's I'm, something I'm that you see throughout the game. Do. You know, as you start off playing, it's pretty straightforward. Fly around, shoot your lasers. I just really want to. I wish they would bring back thirteen thirteen. I never. I know that that'll never happen. to your to your engines. How to shift your shields from the That'd front be to the back to, to cover your butt in a dogfight, or at the higher levels of skill, you could do really crazy stuff. Like you can boost your engines, fly ahead, cut them off, whip around 180, and shoot a missile off your own tail while drifting backwards. Like real ace pilot stuff. That's, yeah. that's really where we have a lot of fun with the game. I want to do that. I want to learn how to do that. <laughs> I understand the nuts and bolts of how to play it. Is there a single player story? Is there a multiplayer mode? What are we getting into? It's actually some of both. So the game starts with a brand new single player story. It okay. takes place a little bit after Return of the Jedi. And it has kind of a, a unique dual perspective approach to it. So when the game starts, you're going to create two pilots. You create a New Republic pilot and an Imperial pilot. And you're going to alternate between their perspectives, mission to mission, over the course of the story. You're going to meet a diverse cast of characters along the way and also a few familiar faces. Now, when you're done with that story and you've played maybe a bit in the practice range, you say, hey, I want to try multiplayer. We want to make it really easy for you to hop online Let's with see how expensive it is to pay to win. Yeah. Point. Um, and I'm so curious to see if to uh, to Greg Miller is going to ask that question. To Obviously, he's not. For you to play he's got a guest friends. on. And so I'm happy to say we fully support uh, crossplay. Yeah, if you, you want to go to the multiplayer and you want to customize your your pilot and, on a and uh, you want to do those, VR, you know, battle packs. Fun fact, the entire um, game supports VR to customize a, a pilot that you're never going to see inside of a they can all play together. Inside of a ship that have an awesome space. You can give extra boosters as long as you pay for the premium package, whatever. Awesome. That is uh, the big question. Uh, when can people actually play it? Nope, that wasn't the big uh, question. Not too long, actually. Uh, Star Wars Squadrons is coming out on October 2nd. Okay. Oh, snap. Okay, not too long at it's all. It's kind of just you. around the corner. You leave me on a teaser there. You didn't you actually deliver it. I appreciate that. The next big ask I have on behalf of everybody watching, I'm sure, who came here for one specific reason, can we see some new gameplay of it? Can we see any gameplay of it? Yeah, so I'm kind of curious I, for that, I, too. I kind of figured you might want to. On behalf of everyone at Motive and the team at Lucasfilm, I am very happy to show you the world's first look at gameplay of Star Wars Squadrons. Enjoy. Hmm. Second Death Star is gone, but the Imperial fleet is still a threat. Vanguard Squadron. Let's make history. This is it, Titan Squadron. Everything we've okay. done has led to this. I haven't played and a lot of Battlefront 2. I never got uh, a chance to get into this one of the TIE Fighters. Uh, basically, into the planes. In a single player story spanning two Anyone who has played an extensive sessions. amount, look at the gameplay here and let me know. If it flows and moves the same way as Battlefront 2's uh, aerial experience. This is the definitive Star Wars I have a sneaking experience. suspicion or something, and I just want that confirmed. Yeah, this is not gameplay. That was not gameplay! In a single player story. Welcome to Titan Squadron. Where you'll play as two combat pilots, flying for both the Empire and the New Republic. You'll experience this world through your cockpit. The I don't care about the UI. in front of you provides critical feedback about power management, targeting, and shields. You guys nice. With a squadron of diverse but. characters at your side, prove your skills on increasingly challenging missions. Is that gameplay? Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyard. One of my spies has linked the attacks with the New Republic Starhawk. Project. It's very strange that the story of the two pilots you play stick together will shape the balance of power in the galaxy. Okay. Get ready. Let him have That's got to be gameplay, right? No. To take the fight online, you'll need flight time with all 8 ships. Fighters are the most flexible and versatile, able to handle any situation. Interceptors are fast and highly maneuverable. Let's get them. Ideal for hunting down your opponent's starfighters. That was kind of fun. Support ships can keep allies safe and stocked up, as well as disrupting. So this must be the gameplay we're looking at right now. 
Nice. I'm assuming that's different than Battlefront 2. Never mind. I retract my uh, my assumption. I had a very small sneaky sneaking feeling that they were going to just rip the aerial uh, part of Battlefront 2 and package it into this. Simply by playing the game, from cosmetics. To an arsenal of oh my god. Components that alter you can unlock battle packs and have a little Wookiee on your on your dashboard. They're on you. I'll deal with it. You can dramatically change your loadout depending on your squadron's strategy. Loot boxes, man. Finally got them. This will be critical in Star Wars Squadron's multiplayer modes. First up, dogfights. This is an all-out 5v5 battle. Fine-tune your loadouts to work as a team. Moving in on the enemy. Utilize components like tractor beams, turrets, and mines to slow down your opponents or set up your squad mates for the it kill. It feels very cinematic. I'll give it that. For teams looking for an even greater challenge, but I still somewhat doubt that I'm looking at in gameplay. Star Wars Squadron's signature mode, fleet battles. Fleet battles are multi stage Only 5v5. Whether playing solo or with friends, you'll have the option to compete against other players or AI as a squadron of five. Don't worry, I got him for you. Meet your team in the social hub to solidify strategy, coordinate loadouts, and prepare for takeoff. <laughs> First, the only reason I assume that, Steven, and it's funny that maybe we had the both, the map. you know, both the same thought on that, is because, Next, honestly, I wouldn't put it past the A doing that. It doesn't sound like something they wouldn't do. And finally, the ultimate goal, target and destroy the subsystems of your Yeah, that's not a fleet, it's a, it's a party. Take it down. Shields are disabled. At each phase, your squadron either I want 16 v 16. That'd be awesome. Imagine that. 16 ships, different types, going out in a giant blank open space map. Small crevices you can go through like this. But the maps look huge enough where 5v5 are going to get lost. But 16 v 16 is a good number for those. Sourpuss? I have to be. I want the best out of my games. Microtransaction hell. Well, especially if you want the little, you know, little bobbles and doodads. You want the child? You want the, you want the Yoda child on your uh, dashboard? Gotta get lucky. Is Star Wars Squadron. Join the galaxy's finest and make your mark. I am very happy that they included a single player. Uh, this galaxy. Section of the game. What's happening? What's up, everyone? It's your boy Lamar Jackson. I'm excited to be a part of the EA Sports family and to be you guys' new man cover athlete. I can't wait to show you guys what we have in store for you this season. This is EA Sports Next Level. You feel it all. You feel that first. Isn't there a thing called the Madden Curse? Wasn't that a thing for a bit? Yeah, Madden. Theo, you mentioned that they had already announced uh, Madden 2021. So I guarantee you that this is just a highlight and a marketing play. Just go. By the way, don't forget, we've got Madden. It's just me and the keeper. Your heart is like. Score that goal, and you're a hero. History carves your name. You know what it sounds like? It's football and football. Singing your song. Yeah. I can't live without that feeling. Timmy Bones. I feel football in my heart. I feel it in my hands. Why? I'm chasing. See the unknown. Face my fears. You have to fight again. I want the real thing. I 
want that sweat dripping, shin splitting, hair raising. <laughs> I want to play that football game. <laughs> I don't want to feel it. Oh, all. what was that scene? EA Sports it's in the game. Mm. Now, that's a lot to look forward to, but there's more. Here to tell us about the future of gaming is EA's it is. Chief Studio. It's a lot Officer, of the same stuff. Hey, but you know what? Thanks, Greg. That was quick. And thanks, Lamar. Welcome to I the am EA very Sports happy that family. These, oh, no, still there going. There are great things to come from EA Sports for all of you, and that's just the beginning. As you've seen throughout the show today, our electronic artists are working hard to bring you more of the games that you want to play. And more games of the... Games like Star Wars Squadrons, Apex Legends, and Command & Conquer. Okay. These games all exist because of you. Your voices are heard, and we are acting on your feedback. They all exist because those sweet, so we've a sweet lot about loot boxes. All the games you'll be playing this Especially year. FIFA. But our studios are That's working even further EA's out. Biggest money maker. New experiences, new stories, new gameplay, all enabled by new Command and Conquer. Technology. Yeah, the remaster so was pretty dope. About what's to come? We don't want to wait until next June to share what the teams are working on. Generation shifts are an opportunity to push beyond the boundaries of gaming as we know it today and this time is no different. Our studios are taking their crazy ambitious ideas and making them real. Criterion is known for how their games feel. From superior physics to nuanced details if of gameplay, this wow. team hand curates the moment to moment experience. That's really good. And with the new consoles this year, there will be a seamless immersion which will get you into the race in a matter of seconds. BioWare imagines and creates worlds where you become the hero of your own story. And we're using this next generation of technology to make those fantasy worlds your reality. For every console generation, DICE sets the bar for excellence in audio and visual presentation. We are creating epic battles at a scale and fidelity unlike anything you've experienced before. At Motive, we are working on a highly ambitious and innovative new game that puts the power and creativity in your hands. And it's an experience that would have been what impossible was that? without what am I looking technology. At? This is just the beginning of the things we are working on, and there is so much more to come. The future of EA Studios yeah. is not just about new technology. It's oh, about that's amazing. You, your voices, your ideas. Console players would be like, we want to see where you come to play. We want to make games for My everyone. Xbox loads so quickly. So and those PC players would be like, yeah, we've had that together. for a decade now. On behalf of all of our studios, thank you for joining us today. But before we sign off, there's just one more game we would love to share. Mm -hmm. Cousin mm -hmm. Darren, over to you. Thank you. Uh, so the moment is here. We finally get to say, we're back. We're doing it. Oh, it's skate. happening. We're rolling. We've secretly skate four. Got People uh, it's guessed the it. The skate evolution continues. We've been waiting years, honestly, to to make the right game at the right time with the right idea, and uh, really, really pleased to say that we're here. It is really early, but uh, it takes a little while to find Cuz or wake him up. Dude, harsh. Still, we've got a long way to go, <laughs> but we're stoked, and this is just the beginning. And seriously, we, we really can't wait to bring you guys in and have you be a part of it with us. We want to thank you for your passion, your patience, and all the support that you've shown you know, us to get to this point. Oh, the comments. It's, it's amazing. We cannot believe you commented this into existence. Amazing. Skate changed my life. Thank you so much. Hmm. Skate forever. So that means guys, that they uh guys we did it we brought live. back skate. golden thank you to EA it's EA thank play you live thank you to Darren thank you to you thank you to me there it is I can't believe got it for you that I'm so happy in my heart rate is this what exercise feels like ladies and gentlemen I can't believe it before we go uh, because I love you guys here are the last letters of the secret code if you think you've got the complete code, go to player.gg slash EA and enter for a chance to win one of thousands of free games sponsored by player.gg. You can find the official rules. I'm happy that Skate is being uh, continued. It looks, it looked and sounded now, like the only reason why they have a new entry in the series is because of a lot of people requesting it. And that's awesome. That's good to see that, you know, audience who wanted it 
Until next Got time, it. I'll see you online. Kind of wish we had more anything with Skate, which would be nice, but it sounded like it was so fresh that they had really had nothing to show. This, I am down for that. Not this. The other one. Uh, what was it? Something random. It's like cease the random or whatever it was. I'll, I'll wait for the title and then I'll call it. Wait, was it actually Skate 4? They didn't actually say the word Skate 4. They just said there's going to be a new Skate. We can assume. Lost and random. Lost and random. I'm going to write that down somewhere. Lost and random, I don't think it's going to be a huge seller. However, it's going to be super fun. Overall, uh, ironically enough, EA uh, put out a better show than uh, Future Games show did. Uh, I kind of was seeing very, very mediocre games. Um, yeah, with that broadcast. This one was actually pretty good. This one we actually got to see things that are a little more interesting. I. I am still funny that uh, we're going to get a video of that one developer. <laughs> Look at the chat going. All right, guys. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to come back uh, tomorrow at 2.30 Pacific Standard Time. Today was a special stream, mainly because I knew EA was going to be streaming at this particular moment. Um, I want to play the Empire. I want to play Empire Sin. Yeah, it was kind of short. How much? How long was that? That was only like um, about less than an hour. It really was. So yes, we're coming back tomorrow with some Last of Us Two. I know that's getting announced or getting released uh, tomorrow, and I have everything ready. My controllers are charged. Um, all I gotta do is get that sucker, you know, pre-installed, and I'm done, and I'm ready. So yeah, uh, if you guys have a chance, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Latest.